I am Adil Kumar. We will explore scalar and vector projection in this particular video. The question here is, draw a diagram to explain the following. A. Is it possible to have projection of vector A on B equal to 0? That is the first part. Second is, is it possible to have projection of vector A on B undefined? And part C is, is it possible to have projection of vector A on B equal to projection of B on A? So these are three different questions on projections and I hope they will help you to understand the concept better. Now, when we talk about projection of vectors, we are also having two cases. One is scalar projection, the other one is vector projection. In scalar projection, we are only talking about magnitude and of course vector projection will include magnitude and direction. In part A, when we say is it possible to have projection of A on B equal to 0? So now this is 0, a scalar quantity. So, so we'll assume this to be scalar projection, right? So this is a case of scalar projection we are only interested in magnitude to be zero right well we could have written vector projection also let me write that in that case i would write this question as projection of vector a on b as equals to zero vector do you understand so that gives me a direction zero vector okay so so that could be the other question perfect now let us understand zero vector has a magnitude of zero but undefined direction is it okay and therefore in our case we are taking scalar projection only which is projection of a and b right equal to zero right now, is it possible or not? So let's think about it. Let us say vector b is, is let's say this is my vector b along the x-axis. Okay. Now, when can the projection of a be 0 on b? So if I have, let us say, vector a as this vector, let's say. Okay. Now, the projection is that much. Is it okay? As I rotate, the projection of A decreases and as soon as this vector comes along the y-axis, projection has zero magnitude. Do you understand? So yes, this is possible when angle theta is 90 degrees, where theta is the angle between A and B, right? So if this is 90 degrees, then the projection can be zero. So that is the answer for the part A. Correct? Part B is, is it possible to have projection of A on B undefined? Now, if I continue to rotate this, we'll see that the projection of A on B decreases, then increases, right? But with a negative sign, and then again decreases and increases. So in all cases, if vector B is non-zero, if vector B is non-zero, then the projection of A is always defined. It could have a magnitude of zero, okay? But it is always defined, and the direction will be in the direction of vector B, okay? Now, when can it be undefined? It is undefined when vector B a zero vector then it is undefined so for a non-zero vector it is defined is that okay that is how we could see this as right so normally when we are projecting a vector on another vector we are assuming that the other vector is non-zero vector correct part c is so let me answer this. Is it possible to have projection of A on B undefined only if, so we can say only if vector B 
is a zero vector is it okay so when vector b is a zero vector now part c is it possible to have projection of a on b equal to projection of b on a perfect now here we will consider two cases one as scalar projection and the other as vector projection now in scalar projection we are only looking for magnitude right so and in vector projection is magnitude and direction perfect so we are comparing magnitude and here it is magnitude and direction is it okay so so that makes a huge difference that makes a huge difference and now if you are only comparing the magnitude in that case the projection of vector a see what is the projection of vector a on b Projection of vector A on B is basically AB cos theta. Let me write here magnitude of A, magnitude of B cos theta divided by magnitude of B. Is it okay? Now, if you are talking about vector projection, it is magnitude of A times magnitude of B cos theta over magnitude of B in the direction of b right so in the direction of the unit vector b okay this is a scalar quantity so that becomes scalar multiple perfect now in these cases when you compare if you're talking about scalar projection then if i change this formula projection of b on a denominator changes from b to a perfect b to a so in that case what are we looking for so that is to say that these two projection scalar projection can be seen provided the angle theta is is same between them so angle theta is kind of always same right whether you say a or b or b on a right let me just take example here let me draw two vectors let's say b and a right let's say vector b and this is vector a now the projection of A on B will be this, that is A on B, right? And the projection of B on A will be kind of like this. Do you see that? So that is projection of B on A. Perfect. Now when are these two equal? This is the question. When are these two equal? This, let's say ON and OP. When are they equal? Now, of course, theta is same. Theta is same in the formula. So, they will be equal only if magnitude of A is equal to magnitude of B. Perfect. So, for scalar projection, if magnitude of A equals to magnitude of B, then it is possible. However, for vector projection, vector A should be equal to vector B. Since we are also considering the direction, direction along a and direction along b should be same that means in this case both are in the same direction do you understand both are in the same direction only then their projections will be same on one another i'm anil kumar and i hope that helps you to understand the concept of projection vectors thank you and all the best